Quite often here at the clinic, people will bring in their animal because they found a lump. And that can be a lump on a cat, a dog, rabbit, guinea pig, you know, all our, our furry friends can get lumps. Uh, and people want to, uh, us to have a look at them and see what they might be. Now, I want to give you guys some kind of advice on, on what to look for in a lump uh, and what they might be and, and what your vet's likely to want to do when you do bring them into the surgery. Now, uh, a lump can be for a whole variety of reasons. That the two big classic categories would be inflammatory lumps uh, and neoplastic or cancerous lumps. Um, so uh, inflammatory lumps are things like uh, you could get, for example, an abscess um, or an inflammatory reaction and that could give you a swelling. And then obviously your, your growths can be benign growths that aren't going to spread. So the classic one that we see all the time is the fatty growth. Um, or there can be nastier growths that are cancerous and, and can cause real harm if let to spread around the body. So um, the first thing that your vet is likely to do is, is to examine the lump, have a little feel of it. And there are some clues that you can get from that as to whether it might be a nice lump or a nasty one. So things that we might want to see is how big is the lump? How rapidly is it growing? Um, how does the border of the lump feel? So, you know, is it you know, nicely rounded and well circumscribed or is it eating into the surrounding tissue? Can we move that lump around if we feel on it or is it, is it attached to something deeper? Um, are there signs of it ulcerating? So is there an ulcer on the surface of the lump or is it bleeding? Because um, all those things are, you know, if, if you can't move it nicely, if it's attached, if it's bleeding, it's more likely to be something nasty. And if it's smaller and it's mobile, it's not really growing, it's got a smooth edge, um, then it probably is more likely to be something benign. But you absolutely can't guarantee these things. And I would never just say to somebody that a lump was fine on how it feels alone, especially if it's a new lump. And actually, there's an interesting study um, recently where they took some specialists and some specialists even got it wrong just on feel alone. Um, and the classic one is that the lipoma, the fatty lump, there is another nasty skin tumour called the mast cell tumour. It can mimic that and you can think that you're dealing with a, a, a nice little fatty lump, but, but actually it's something much nastier. So always I think some further testing is, is advisable. And the classic test that we would like to do is something called a fine needle aspirate. So that's when you take a needle and you introduce it through the skin into the lump, you take a little sample and you put it down the micro, uh, on a microscope slide, have a look at it down the microscope and try and get an idea of are we seeing fatty cells? Are we seeing uh, pus? Is it an abscess? Um, are we seeing signs of, of cancerous cells or something more nasty? Now, looking down a microscope and using cells isn't the ideal way to get a diagnosis. It's not 100% accurate, but it can give you much more better idea about the advice that you're giving to someone. So I'd always advise with any new lump that we get an aspirate performed. Um, in terms of where we might go next or what else we might want to do, then obviously the definitive way to find out what a lump is is to remove it or take a biopsy and send it off to a lab to have a section of the lump looked at. So if there's any concern on that cytology or people are keen to go straight for that, that biopsy, then that would be the next step. Um, so surgery, um, you know, would be the way forward. Prior to surgery, if we're thinking it might be something nasty, something else your vet might want to do is to do a bit of imaging. So the classic ones would be uh, x-raying the chest or scanning the abdomen because if it is a nasty lump and it's spread, it really affects your decision about whether or not you put the animal through surgery. So don't be surprised if with a lump um, especially if you've got a suspicion it might be something nastier that, that other tests like imaging might be performed. Um, but most of the cases that we see here are, are benign lumps or, or nasty lumps that once removed won't cause a further problem. So don't be scared about taking a lump in and the sooner you get it checked out the better. But I would always ask for at least an aspirate to be done of any lump because just how they feel is, is really not a very accurate way of knowing what might be going on.